Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. The Bible Bistro is that little roadside cafe that you just uh, keep to yourself. Don't tell anybody else about it because it's just that good. And today we're looking at Psalm 33, verses 15 through 17. And you know what we do here in the Bible Bistro, at least with Daily Dose Radio, is we study the Psalms verse by verse. Five minutes a day, five days a week, we study the Psalms verse by verse. And today we're going to look at verses 15, 16, and 17 in Psalm 33. We're continuing to answer the question, why are the people blessed whose God is the Lord? Now we answer that question in verses 1 through 11, we have the statement in 12, and then 13 through 22, we continue to answer that question. And we're going to see part of the answer here today. Let's read uh, verses 15 through 17. He fashions their hearts alike. He considers all their works. There is no king save by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. So what's the Lord doing here? He's looking at the hearts of men. We've already seen that, right? Because he's looking down from heaven. He beholds all the sons of men. From his inhabitation, he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. And then it says he considers their works. Well, what works are he, is he considering? Well, we're going to find out that what he's considering is how much they trust him, how much they put their faith in him. Because you'll notice that we have an argument set up for us. He says, there's no king saved by a multitude of a host. Are you trusting in a large army? You shouldn't. A mighty man is not delivered by as much strength. Well, are you a mighty man or are you really strong? Don't trust in it. Now, we might not have the experience of the king, leading a host, you know, a great army, we, we might not be a mighty man. And we might not have very much strength. But we understand that we don't trust in that. And then it says a horse is a vain thing for safety. Are you trusting in the multitude of your chariots and horsemen? We've already seen that, haven't we? Now that, you know, the, the idea of the chariot is not something that we trust in. Because sometimes, you know what? Whether it's an army or a mighty man's strength or a horse, we like to trust in things that we can see and touch and understand. But the Lord wants us to trust in something else. That's why he's considering all of our works. He's considering how we proceed through this life. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. So if a king can't trust in a host and a mighty man can't trust in his strength and we can't trust in the horse to keep us from safe, to keep us from harm. And if strength doesn't deliver anybody, well, what does, right? There's your question. What does? Well, we know the answer, don't we? And we're going to find that out tomorrow. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I'll just tell you if you want to, if you want to know, look at verse 18. Verse 18 will give you the answer to that question. If we can't trust in these things, what are we to trust in? So he fashions the hearts of men alike, and then he considers, where are they? Are they trusting in the Lord or not? Friend, where are you? What are you trusting in? Sometimes we like to trust in our great wealth, don't we? Sometimes we like to trust in maybe not the physical strength that we have, but perhaps we have political strength. Or perhaps we have social strength. Or perhaps we have clout in the office because of all the good work we've done. And we're trusting in that. Perhaps we have strength in a family. And we're trusting in that. What is it that you're trusting in? How about you consider trusting in the Lord? He's considering you. How about you consider him? Trust in the Lord. Call on him today. Call on him. All it takes is one look to the cross, friend. That's all it takes. Well, I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verses 18 and 19 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.